diesel engines, there are two types of fuel injection pump. Look, this is a fuel injection pump. The fuel injection pump suction in the middle the fuel from the tank, from the fuel tank, at low pressure, 14 psi, 15 psi. That's okay? And send the fuel to each injector. Here is located the injector, you see? This injector, if the combustion chamber is pressurized at a 800 PSI, how much should be the pressure of this injector to open? 1200 or 1500, no? If not, if not, no, inject the fuel because the, the combustion chamber is pressurized. You understand? Ah, okay, look at this. This element multiply 10 PSI at the input and send 1500 PSI in the output. Depending on the engine, the injectors are for 7,000, 25,000 PSI. It's dramatically the multiplication of the pressure in, in between the input and the output. Everybody follow me? Look, this fuel injection pump is for an engine of four cylinders. One cylinder, two cylinders, three cylinders, four cylinders. Everybody follow me? And this is the input. Suppose that this is cylinder one. This is cylinder two, three, and four. In the moment that the piston number one is finishing the compression stroke, this plunger internally open and send the fuel at high pressure and open that injector. Some milliseconds later, open this and this and this, depending on the movement of the pistons. Do you understand? In other words, this element, the fuel injection pump, this one here, should be synchronized with the movement of the cam and the movement of the crank. Should be synchronized perfect. If not, the injector send the fuel in the moment, in the wrong moment. No, this cylinder should be injecting exactly in that moment, not in other moment, for that reason. If I have a diesel engine like this, with this type of me mechanical fuel injection pump, I need synchronize, I need time, the fuel injection pump, the crankshaft, and the camshaft. Perfect. Ah, Mr. Lopez, my diesel engine, the fuel injection pump is electronic. It's not mechanical like this. Ah, okay, no problem. If it's electronic, the computer of this engine, when the piston finish compression, inject the fuel with sensors. And you don't need time the fuel injection pump with the cam and the crank. We have engines with electronic fuel injection, and I am going to explain later in the chapter dedicated to fuel systems. This one is mechanical. The mechanical fuel injection pump the crank and the cam should be, should be aligned exactly in the moment. They have marks, they have marks, they have dots. And I am going to explain the procedure to do the timing in this engine mechanical system or that engine electronic system. This one is mechanical fuel injection pump should be aligned with the crank and the cam. In this type of engine, if I have suspicious that the fuel injection pump is damaged, I need to remove the fuel injection pump and I need to remove the injectors to send to the laboratory because the injectors are damaged or the injectors, two injectors don't open or stay open all the time, I have rich mixture. I am going to remove injectors and fuel injection pump to send to the laboratory and they calibrate. To, to remove that pump, I need bring the engine to the zero position in timing. In that moment, I remove the pump, I send to the laboratory, and they return to me the pump calibrated. Why I need remove that pump with the engine, the marks of the crank, the marks of the cam aligned in zero position? Because when they repair that pump, they return the pump calibrated at zero position. If I remove the pump with the engine in other position, I put the pump right now at zero position. When I start the engine, that pump send the fuel in the moment in each piston? No. You understand? I need bring the 
the, the engine at zero point. I'm going to explain that process. In other words, all of this small, small theory is because I want that you know how important is the head. The head is critical. The calibration of the valves is critical. The closing and opening of the valves is very important. If the valves don't close properly, you don't have time. You don't have good compression. The engine is pr probably not running. The timing and the quality of the head is critical. 